Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. Hallelujah, one more time. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's get it in. We back at it. We just missed your guy, man. Mike was in there, Gene. He hung up. Oh, really? Yeah. Your, your, your guy, Mike. He'll call back. Okay, I hope you do, man. I hope you do. Take, take him to the bathroom then. I'm at a Yahoo Dawes in the building. Yeah, you know I heard you. Uh, I called Don Deems up in here. G Elder Gene Lisa up in here. We know you up in here battle. Mike, Mike in the building. Good to see you all, family. Oh, um, Mm -hmm. My wife here. How are you doing, sweetheart? The family here. My mama. We climbing on up in here. About to get a little tricky, and I'm about to start teaching. Isn't that something? You know, well, I'll, be, I'll be back in the As soon as it knock you down, you coming back, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me, let me get ready to teach. I'm, you know, putting it together. Okay, let's rock, y'all. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Luke. Let's pray, y'all. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, humbly in your how, a gleaning in your presence, uh, conference muted, needing you and believing you at your word. Uh, please send a relevant word that we may continue to grow in you. We trust you, believe you, we thank you. In the Matthew's name of Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all man. Um, let's go to Luke, y'all. Luke 9. Luke 9. Luke 9, right? And 57. Luke 9 and 57. <sighs> Luke 9 and 57. Um, Luke 9 and 57. Look what it says. It says, And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Adonai, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. I think it's befitting to touch on something like this again. Because th there's something different about a true believer. The, the difference that is different between Solomon, good to see you all, man. But th there's a difference between a believer and a religious person. And, and, and it's a it's a big difference. Right. Religious people have an ulterior motive. 
religious people look for religion to benefit them. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for religion to benefit them. And the religion is good if it's beneficial. They're like a businessman, a businesswoman. They, they're dealing like common sense, right? Throw some salt over your shoulder. You do it for a reason. You know what I mean? Get you a black cat. You know, get you a little stick pin and dress them up with somebody's hair. They're looking for something, some results. They ain't going to just be sticking pins and cushions for nothing. And you got people that approach the most high for a benefit. People even give trying to work the numbers. Work the, if I give, the most high will give me back more. And that's how they see it. So it's, it's a difference between a religious person and someone that has true, true relationship, a true believer that's seeking relationship, right? When the platform, we finna teach out of this scripture, I'm just trying to tell you something. But when the platform, when the platform for salvation is predicated on a believer's heart, knowing the need of salvation, You can get far. What, what, look. Look. For, for Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him. That's the key. Believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whoever the believer is, he's, he's not going to perish, and they're going to end up with eternal life. But the believing piece is way deeper than a religious belief. It's way deeper than that. Because a believer is believing him for restoration in their soul. A true believer is able to look at the word and examine themselves based on the word with the belief that the word can change them, transform them, transform them and rescue them from themselves. Okay. Luke 9 and 57. I might mess with you some more, but let's try to get in the scripture, right? Good to see you on Woods and, and Big Sean. Look what it says. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said on him, Adonai, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. That statement within itself is so deep. That it ain't even funny. That that that's that's a statement like that. If it's sincere, cuts out a whole lot of foolishness. <laughs> I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest, not knowing where he going, not not knowing what he gonna face. Not, not even trying to weigh up. Where you going? How you getting there? Is you walking? You got a car? If you get ugly, can you fight? You got a gun? You got some money? If you get crazy, what? You got food? Water? You got some supply? He didn't say none of that. A religious person want to know all that. Can you fix my marriage? Can you fix my finances? If I roll with you and it get ugly, look, what you gonna do? You got some, you got some, you know jujitsu? Can you fight? How are your hands? You got hands? You gotta be do something to benefit me. That's religion. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said on him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. You ain't even ask me where I'm going. Nothing. Interesting. And Yahushua said on him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, 
but the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. How many of y'all want to fo follow a, a homeless dude? You got to be spiritually minded in order to follow someone that will respond to you and say, Fox has got somewhere to live and so do birds. But I don't. We, we know that he rolls with all power in his hand. We know that. We know that he came to save our souls and the disciples wanted him to deliver them from the Roman occupation. And they had every reason to want that. But they had, a, they had a natural desire to be rescued and delivered. And you can't be mad at that. When the people keep getting dogged out and murdered and set up, set, set, set up for the slaughter, it's only common sense that they crying out in their in they, in they souls, how long, yeah, how long, don't you see this? The disciples, just to give you a little backstory, Judas got tired of rolling with the Messiah when he saw the woman break the alabaster box. He, he felt like what a waste of money because he was about his money. The, the word described it like a thief. He was over the money, and he was one of those analytical dudes that 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 was following him analytically, and and wasn't weighing up. He was looking one for him to deliver them from, from the Roman occupation. And he also was looking to be in, in, in leadership and ruler, a, a ruler with him. And his natural expectations was being slaughtered. And when, when you know, all this spiritual stuff that wasn't adding up financially, all this spiritual stuff, all this love talking, all this spiritual talk. He was ready for war. He was ready to overthrow the governmental structure. Because the governmental structure, we can't front. The governmental structure was, 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 was racist and it wasn't cool. It was anti-Israel. It was anti-the Hebrew. It, 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 you, you can understand that. But the Messiah was on something different. And what he was on is super powerful. Like I was teaching this morning uh, in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. He was talking about he was crucified in weakness. While demonstrating the power of the Most High. He rose with all power in his hand. He even had power to do. He had supernatural power to do what he came to do. But in the natural, he was running from the enemy. He was ducking and running through crowds, getting away. Because he came as the lamb. When he come back, he's going to be the lion. But he came as the lamb. And his children are counted for, 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 for sheep for the slaughter. See, carnal people always persecute spiritual people. That, that's, that's what we was dealing with in Galatians, the fourth chapter, or, or going back to, uh, uh, to the Tanakh, the, to the Old Testament. Uh, uh, um, Ishmael uh, gave Isaac the blues. Carnal people persecute spiritual people. And so it is just like that right now. And, 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 and then... They had expectation. It's just that you can have expectation when you come to the most high. Want him to fix your marriage. Want him to fix your life. Want him to fix your finances. You have dreams and goals and all that old fun stuff. And you believe coming to him is going to fix it. When in actuality, you, 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 you end up finding out he came to fix you spiritually. Because this, this, this place is temporary. We're passing through here. So, so when you switch from a carnal agenda to a spiritual agenda, 
You're, 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 you're going through that process as he switch you from your carnal position to a spiritual position. It's a process. It's the mind renewal process. You didn't come uh, uh, wanting uh, uh, spiritual stuff 100%. You came wanting some natural stuff from a spiritual Elohim. You wanted him to work in the natural. You wanted to be successful in the natural. His goal is to write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. You ain't going to even understand how, how good it is in the hereafter. So here he is. And it came to pass. Luke 9 and 57. Right? And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, Adonai, Master, right? I will follow thee wherever you're going. And he wasn't even probing him to find out where you was going. His faith. His, his faith, the selflessness in a statement like that, is I'm not tripping where you're going. I believe you. I believe you. Which sets up a raw answer that a carnal-minded person don't want to hear. A carnal-minded man do not want to hear answer like foxes have holes. Birds of the air have nests. <laughs> but the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. I'm homeless. I I'm glad you said to me that you're willing to follow me wherever I go. Because it's 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 the spirit that quickens it. It's the word that makes you alive. The flesh profits nothing. Look at this situation our flesh is in now. The flesh profits nothing. This, this is where people leave him. This is where people turn on him. When they figure out the flesh profits nothing, this, 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 this is where you start separating the sheep from the goats. This is where you start separating the people that was in it for the fishes and loaves when they find out ain't no fishes and loaves. When, when, when they find out there's trouble over the horizon. Persecution over the horizon? Nah, I didn't sign up for this. See, a statement like that, he signed up for whatever comes because he wasn't tripping on his marriage. He wasn't tripping on his finances. He wasn't tripping on his loneliness or his singleness. He wasn't tripping over a business opportunity. He wasn't tripping over trying to get paid. He wasn't tripping on his career. Come on, somebody. He, he wasn't tripping on that. See, when the gospel comes appropriately, right, it comes and it will expose you in your character, the lack thereof, spiritual character, the lack thereof, and the fact that we're sinners and we're going against our creator. Nice cars and houses and vacations and getting your nails done and your hair done don't cover how scandalous and wretched and undone we are. Nice fades, you know. Record deals, nothing, no. We're, 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 we're spiritually deprived and we need restoration with the creator. And that is the goal. I keep going back to it, John 6 and 63, y'all. It's the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profits nothing. The word came to make us spiritually alive, reconnected with the most high. And we're pilgrims passing through. This place is temporary. Our life is like a vapor of smoke. It appeared for a moment and vanished away. And in that vapor of smoke, he's trying to reconcile us back spiritually to the most high. That's it. He became the mediator between the most high and man to make a, a, a connection, a, re, a, a, a reconciliation. That's what he came for, not to get you paid. Nor to glorify your carnal life. So now that the plug gets snatched out the wall, power off. Now folks don't see really a reason to serve him. Now what I, what I need him for. That's what happened to Judas. And I'm done with this. He broke that alabaster box. He said, man, I could have sold this. He wanted, to sound, he wanted to sound like he was a righteous man and gave it to the poor. Man, he was trying to come up. And that's why he turned on him for some silver. And it came to pass. Let's deal with it, right? 
And it came to pass this, as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, Adonai, Master, I will follow thee with the servant without going. And the Messiah's answer was, that, man, you know I'm paid. Feel me? I, you know, we eating over here, man. Come on. Yeah, come on. You know, you know how... You know, you know, churches like to go out witnessing and they be having their little website laid out in the tracks and they have pictures of nice, beautiful stuff and all that. Little children's ministry with all the dinosaurs in there, the Christian dinosaurs with the, you know what I mean? Batman saved up in there, painted upside the wall, saving Gotham City from the devil and all. You know, all, all this, all, you know, vocational, you know, they got lunch, they got lunch. With the juice. They got the little juices. And they're able to advertise the ministry. Catering to the flesh. Well, that's shut down now. But I'm just saying. Because it never was about that in the first place. Never was about that in the first place. But when you carnal and come up religiously, you really don't know that. I ain't mad at you. I'm just saying. It's easier to fornicate, commit adultery, still cuss. Smoke a cigarette and go to service when you got all this luxury and you say, God is good. You know, God is blessing. You know, see all the nice cars in the parking lot. You see the wife cussing her husband out where they're going in. But look at all these cars, though. Look at all these cars. You know, everybody sleeping with each other, folks sleeping, screwing in the choir, and, you know. But all this nice stuff, not realizing they're wretched and undone. Well, all that's pulled. Pull. Now, let's get back to this. Let's get back to the real, right? So, so you, 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 Yahusha, the Messiah, said on him, foxes have holes, right? Fox doing better than me. In the natural, because I didn't come for that. See, the flesh, it's the spirit that quickens it, that makes us alive. The flesh profits nothing. Foxes have holes, birds, birds in the air have nests. But the Son of Man have nowhere home. Nowhere to, you following me? Okay, come on. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> and he said unto another, follow me. After saying that, follow me. You got to be a believer. You, 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 you got to be a person. After a speech like that, after a presentation, he, he, did, he, don't, he don't go witness it like we did. We would have told him, dude, why you say that? Why would you say that? They ain't going to follow you. You're going to have a small ministry, homie. Hey, 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 you need to. Hey, man. And he said to another, follow me. I guess he heard what he said. He said, <laughs> he said, he said, Adonai, suffer me first to go and bury my father. We, we, we come up with a reason why we do not want to follow him if we're not in it to the level that we need to be. See, now, let's squeeze in scripture here, right, so you can really get it, right? A requirement, I'm telling you this, whether they teach you this or not, whether you never heard this or not, you already know the scripture said you got to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. See, we get so caught up into false doctrine in the sin doctrine that we can turn on him and do whatever we want to do and still make it to heaven. We're so filled with that that we negate the truth of the matter of the necessary state of heart that it takes to follow him because the necessary state of heart eradicates your desire to sin against him. In fact, it eradicates to the point that you're willing to suffer for him. Way the opposite of being extra blessed by him. You're, 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 you're willing to go through hell with him. He went to hell to save our soul. And we're willing to go through hell on earth to, to stay with him. See, he wasn't fluffing up nothing. The guy said, you follow me. I'll follow you wherever you go. He said, good, because I ain't got nowhere to go. Get your sleeping bag, your tent. You got your tent, your canteen, because we we going places. We going places spiritually, not here to peace to your flesh. And people, believers in such a shock right now, 
which I understand. Heck, it's a shock to me. It ain't a shock. Like, the word Ben said it was going to happen, but actually it's, it's really going down right now. That's like, whoa, this is kind of real, huh? He really is homeless. Or oh, we are. We're targets. The believers is targets for the slaughter now. And it's manifested. It ain't cool for us right now, huh? He, he, he was serious when he said that to the guy. Foxes is doing better. It's safer for a fox right now than a bird. Unless they get too close to the 5G towers, then that's a whole other conversation. But I'm just saying. Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. And he said to another. Now, now I don't know if it was time elapsed between this, but it was in the same conversation. I understand why this man said, man, I'm finna go bury my father. <laughs> he said to another, follow me. But he said, master, suffer me to first go and bury my father. And Yahushua said to him, let the, let, let, let the dead bury the dead. Listen to what he's saying. This is a good message for right now, y'all. He didn't let him roll with that excuse. You know how, you know, good witnessing we think is, oh, I understand, brother. Yeah, you got to go do that. He said, no, nah, man. No, he made a difference between a carnal man's funeral and your soul. Or I don't care what your agenda is. I don't care what you think is important. Ain't nothing more important than your relationship with the most high. The most important thing we can do is follow him. Because he's going to lead and guide us into all truth. He's going to lead us into eternal life. He's going to deliver us from us. He's going to deliver us from this present evil, wicked world. Okay, how crazy it looks. And we got to remember this. In Psalms, is that 23? Is it? Where, 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 where there's green pastures in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death. We're literally in the, uh, in the valley of the shadow of death, but there's green pastures for his children right in the middle of it. There's a spiritual Goshen right in the middle uh, uh, of the turmoil and the hell in Egypt. He's punishing Egypt, but there's a spiritual safety place. Yeah. There's a secret closet. There's a safe haven in his shadow. Even in the midst of chaos, in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. He on a whole nother level. But but you but you gotta you gotta skinny down. You can't have ulterior motives messing with him. That's why the Messiah said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. Because he didn't have no interior motive. If another should come in his own name, he got an interior motive. You gonna you receive him because you carnal. People that got arterial motives is, uh, attracts people with arterial motives. But whoever down with the Messiah, for Yah I live and for Yah I die, that's a whole nother level, and that's where you lose people. What I'm serving him for and that he broke now. He ain't got nothing. Fox, foxes got holes and birds, bird, bird, birds have nests. <laughs> He ain't got nowhere to go. He ain't going nowhere. Carnal people see it just like that. He homeless. He ain't got nothing. Spiritual people see he, he got the words of eternal life. And a spiritual minded man is attracted to the spirit. A natural man see he's homeless. He's good for nothing. Get up out of here. I can be bad by myself. They think I ain't messing with him. <laughs> they, they, they going nowhere fast. I ain't messing with them. Just want to sit around and preach. Just want to talk about the word, man. It's, it's life to be lived out here. So he told, he said, if, if he was an earshot of him telling him that he was homeless, and he said, follow me, man, man, I got, I got to do a funeral, man. He said, let the dead bear the dead. He did the comparison analysis. So, so any excuses that our, our, our carnal nature will give us, like it's good enough to put him on the back burner, put him to the side. I first got to no, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work here. I first got to... We, 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 we be having agendas thinking that it's acceptable. I first got to... No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let the dead bury the dead. He went there. 
And another also said, Master, I will follow thee. Now, he, he, rolling, he rolling with what the first guy said, right? I will follow thee. But he had a but. The first guy didn't have a but. Man, I'm rolling with you, period. And his response was, that's exactly the attitude you're going to have to have because I'm homeless. I'm not going to fluff nothing. I'm not going to make it sound good. I'm not going to fix your credit. I'm not going I'm I'm, I'm here to save your soul. And anybody that belong to him is here to save our soul. Look at this. Even though everything is dried up and there's a target on our back, our main concern as believers is to get our souls right with our creator. The true believer is going through their life with a fine-tooth comb. Trying to get their life in order. Trying to make sure they ain't got no sin in it. Trying to apologize and fix stuff and trying to fast and pray and seek him like never before. Because we're able to look at the signs of the time and see what time it is. The, the, the believer is not, 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 not spiritually asleep. See, those that walk in the darkness still don't know what time it is. Still trying to find a man. Still trying to find a woman. Still trying to get some money. Still trying to get their necks in. You got folks neglecting their soul on a paper chase. Trying to put in as much hours as they can to get as much money as they can. Thinking that money is going to solve this for them. No, it's not. You in for a rude awakening. When it's peace and safety, that's when it's all going to break loose. It's all bad right now. But it's all good in y'all. He's snatching his people into position for the saving of their souls, period. And those that are carnal are walking in the dark, bumping into everything. Don't know if they're coming or going. Don't know what the heck is going on. Proving that they don't belong to it. Another said, 61st verse, y'all. Another also said, Master, I'll follow thee. That was cool. But got a whole lot of folks like that. I'll, I'll follow you, but. But what? I'll follow you, but. But what? You ain't ready. I'll follow you, but forget them. Forget her, him. Forget it. Forget the money. Forget how you feel. Forget it. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? You got something on the table when, when he's calling for your soul? You tripping off something else? You lost in the sauce. Sound good. I'll follow you, bud. But <laughs> well, let's see how far he got with it. And I said, Master, I'll follow thee, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at my house. Yahushua said to him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking bad is fit for the kingdom. No, no man that want to compare anything to their soul salvation. You're not fit. You got to fix that. I'm telling you what he said. I'm not saying this, y'all. Look at the seriousness in what it is. He's making a dip. Look at this. Did you know um, this life is like, it's been hijacked and things are not the way they're supposed to be. There's a lot of stuff that's going on that is not the way y'all intended it to be. The devil and his children came in and set up shop. We're accustomed to the shop that's set up. We're accustomed to the ways of the prince of the air. This wickedness is going on. And our flesh will go through withdrawal when we're deprived of it. But things are not the way they're supposed to be. And with that being said, um, when, when, it's, when, it, when, 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 when it's snatched from us, we can have a verse, a verse, uh, a response if we're carnal. When, when, when you're spiritual, you let it go. Especially when it comes to your soul. You just back up. I lost her. Okay. 
She sure was fine. You know, for the ladies, I lost him. He sure was handsome. And for the perverted, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But you, you let stuff go. You, it, it, it. Adonai gives and Adonai take away. Blessed be the name of Adonai. Whatever. I, I ain't got time to be worried about nothing when it comes to my soul, but my soul. He said, save yourself from this untoward generation. He knocking down all the excuses. And the man that said, I'll follow you wherever you go, he did not give him a song and dance to try to persuade him. He didn't add nothing extra to the conversation. He did not change the narrative. You, you, you want to be straight up? You, you saying you'll follow me wherever? Because that's exactly the only state of mind that's going to get you to where, where I'm going. There's only, one, there's only one way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. Ain't no other way. And he was going to add to the way. He was going to add money to it. Prosperity. He was, he was, he was going to add. Uh, 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 he would add nothing. Yeah, you follow me wherever, wherever I go because I'll lead and guide you in all truth. That I will do. But you might go through some persecution. In fact, you are. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the most high going to deliver us out of them all. You can bank on that. But, but you're going to go through. He ain't promising you ain't. He ain't told you that. He told you the opposite. So, so that wasn't his opportunity to turn into a traveling salesman. Trying to, trying to sell, sell Yah on some false premises. Trying to sell Yah with a little flesh in it. A little leaven, leaven the whole lump. He wasn't adding no flesh game into it. Yeah, you might lose, you might lose, you might lose, you might lose your family messing with Yah. You might, you might lose your money. You might lose your life. Ain't add nothing. And I'm homeless. This kingdom is not my home. He had that attitude. Well, my father would tear this place up. I can, I can dispatch angles and tear this place up, but it ain't time for that yet. I'm, I'm going to tear it up at the point in time, but it ain't time yet. But, 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 but I am here to save my children. And my, my children hear my voice. My children know something else. My children is examining themselves and they're about their father's business, period. They want their family to come, but if they don't, oh well. Case of rocks, rock. We're born in the flesh. Everyone in Israel ain't Israel. It ain't no flesh thing. Everyone is Israel ain't Israel. They might have the blood running through their veins, but the true Israel is spiritual. 100%. He's still keeping his promise to Abraham and all that. Don't get it twisted. But 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 the, the bloodline gotta fall into faith, just like the unbloodline do. Everyone that's Israel ain't Israel. And everyone that's your family ain't a part of the family of Yah. You want to go back and, and, and bid 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 a bunch of worldly people don't mean y'all no good, farewell. You supposed to say, yeah, he wasn't gonna stop you from going witnessing to nobody. But your priorities is twisted. But first let me. Ain't no but first let me. First follow me. And all these other things be added to you. No man having put his hand to the plow. No man having received the most high as, 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 as the most high in their life. And look back as fit. Like something is close seconds. It ain't even, come on, you, your, your, your heart not right. Ain't no close seconds. Ain't, ain't nothing. Near. Come on. All we got is our soul, y'all. All we got is the relationship we have with him. And even our family is borrowed. Now we back in the flesh. And of course, we love our family. According to the flesh, I'm wrong with you if you don't. We love our family, but this is a, this is a family affair. This is a spiritual affair. Mama and them came looking for me. He said, who is my mother, my brother? But he do the will of my father. Who? This is a spiritual family. No man having put his hand to the plow and looked back. 
You want to go back and do what? You're supposed to say yes. You're supposed to fall down on your face and accept the most high as master of your life. And after you've done that, then this other stuff will come. It ain't no first let me do nothing. What's more important than your soul? What's more important than your relationship with the most high? Because if you got something you got to do first, then your heart ain't right. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I plan to serve him, but first I got to, your heart, you, you go. That's it. Next. But first I got to. The gospel hit his children's ear. The best array hit his children. And they like, yeah. They was on their way. Had the money in their pocket. They was on their way. They stopped in, heard the word, and dropped everything. I'll take Yahushua for mine. Drop everything. Man, you ain't come. Heck no, I ain't come. Did you hear the word? Dude, you tripping. No, you tripping. I'm through. Well, can I have the stuff in the trunk? Take the car and the trunk. I'm staying here with the most high. Ain't no but first. I got a nothing. Got to cash it in and get my money. Nope. Forget it, the money, and whoever comes. I'm cold. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Because his sheep hear his voice. I hope y'all heard the Hebrews 10. Let's disbound and get up out of here, y'all. Hebrews 10. 35. Cast not away there for your confidence, right? In the most high, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience. He coming. That after you've done the will of Yah, after, not before, after you've done the will of Yah, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. He coming, y'all. He coming. Get your houses in order because he coming for us. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, but first I got to, but if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. I ain't got to first do nothing but accept him right this second. Period. I need him. And so do you. Now the just shall live by faith. I trust him. So I'm going to keep on going and see what the end going to be. But if any man draw back, look what he said. My soul have no pleasure in him. Now that it's looking not so fun to be identified with him, now you ready to quit? He ain't got no pleasure in you. Those of us that got the state of mind, I'll follow you whithersoever thou goest. Man, you going in that dark alley down there? Oh, man, I'm coming with you. Y'all coming? Uh-uh, man. That, uh, that don't look right to me. I ain't going. All right, I'm going with I'm going with the most high. See y'all. See y'all on the other side. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How many know how? Gleaning in the truth of your word, because thy word is true. Continue to illuminate your children through the truth of your word. Encourage us. Uh, that we in it, we in it, we in it to win it. We, 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 look, we, look, we in it to win it. See the races and give to the swimmer of the Baptist strong in, 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 in Matthews uh, 24 said, but he didn't do it to the end, shall we say. We got the end game through the power of your law. We're not taking credit for it. Keep us. You're able to present us blameless for your presence. Keep us till we see your face in peace. And we'll be celebrating in the interim in the match of Lenny Who shall we humbly pray? Hallelujah and all man. That was the lesson for this evening. I pray that it blessed you, snapped, snapped you out of uh, crazy, and all that foolish talk. Snapped you out of that foolish talk in Yahushua's name. If you was blessed by the lesson, and I pray you was, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Is that all right? You want them to be blessed too? Share your platform. In fact, do a watch party. I'm challenging everybody on here to take this lesson and do a watch party with it. Here, push the share button, y'all. If you if you if you if you if you sow into this ministry and believe because it's good ground, I say thank you. I, 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 I'm blessed of that you feel that way, and and that you know 
I believe the most high gonna bless you because I believe this is good ground. I believe it. So um but 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 if you're blessed by this ministry and it's feeding you and you're growing, and the and the word teaches don't muzzle out the mouth for the ox to tread out the corn, if if the if 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 the word is being you know treaded out and you're growing from it and you want to support the ministry, it's my job to tell you how. If you got if you got the cash app. All you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's Y-A-H-U-D-A-H. Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Again, dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Or you can just go to the Facebook page. You can go to the Facebook page and uh, go inside a messenger and you can support the ministry. The ministry like that. Is that all right? Um, we're done for this evening. You know, you know, we'll personally pray as a family or whatever we do. I pray you do the same. Um, that's the plan for us. And uh, if you do, please pray for us. Pray for me. I'm going to tell you right now, me and my family, we need prayer. Um, we need the most high, period. And I'm begging y'all to pray for me. Please pray for me. And I'll definitely continue, hallelujah, to pray for you as well. We plan to be back on tomorrow, to, if the most high permit, at 8 a.m. For, for prayer from 8 to 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. And then at 8.30, we'll do a sermonette. Uh, we plan to do that. And then tomorrow at noon, we plan to have noonday prayer. And then tomorrow evening, we, we plan to have... 7, 7 p.m. Uh, uh, evening prayer, and so forth and so on. Again, in closing, we do something every single day. And Monday through Friday, we have something three times a day, 8 o'clock, noon, and 7 p.m., five days a week. On Saturday, we'll be back on the Shabbat. we back at it at 1130. And on Sunday, we back at it at 11 because we love y'all. And we need to, we need to, we need to, we need to assemble the more and so much the more as we see the day approaching. We, we don't need to slack up. We need to, you, seven days a week, we at it because we love him and we love you too. Y'all continue to pray for us as we pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Barakah Shalom. I'm gone.